So I saw this comment from Shanshan on one of the recent videos that I posted and I thought that I had to make a video in regards to what she was referring to. Now first I just want to thank Shanshan for commenting on my video. I do appreciate it as always and thank you so much for the support. It truly helps us to grow our page and to get our message out there. Now in regards to uh, Shanshan's comment, what she would be referring to is what happened with Usain Bolt and the whole SSL uh, saga and situation. Now first I just want to say that I hope that the people that are involved with this fraud are held accountable and that they are prosecuted and punished for what they have done. Definitely I wouldn't want anybody that gets into investing in general or investing in Jamaica to experience something like this or for something like this to happen mm -hmm. to now in regards to investing there are a few things that we as investors can do to ensure that a similar situation doesn't happen to us as well as that a similar situation doesn't cause us to be defrauded or scammed out of our hard-earned money that we would invest whether that be in stocks or real estate or any other form of investments so i think there are three things mainly that investors can do to ensure that things like this do not impact them so the first thing I think investors can do is to actively monitor whatever they're invested in. So whether that be stocks or bonds or real estate or a business, whatever it is that you are invested in, it's a good idea to actively monitor that. So whether that be looking at statements or actively checking in on your investment and ensuring that everything is going the way it's supposed to, I believe that investors should actively monitor their investments to ensure and to make sure that things like this do not happen. Secondly, it's a good idea to ensure that whatever we're invested in, that we have a great understanding of it and that we do the thorough research into the entity we are invested in or investing with as well as the investment that we're getting into. Typically, if you do research and you look into things deeply, maybe there are certain red flags or things that you can pick up on or questions that you can ask that can help you to avoid situations similar or like this. The third thing I would say is to ensure that whatever you're invested in, that you are the person that manages and handles that investment. A lot of times we might think that investing is complicated and we give that authority to somebody else, but it's good that we maintain the authority over our investments and we make our own investment decisions. An advisor should be there as support and not the person that makes all your decisions. So hopefully these three things can help to ensure that your investments are secure and that you don't experience a similar situation.